Chris, there you are. You're live. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Nobody saw you, but <laughs> should I say it? <laughs> I say hello to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just um quickly doing. Just remind me of Christmas vacation. So say hello. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Should I say it? I'm um, just doing a super fast like coat over this pencil. And um, that way my pencil doesn't smear while I'm working. Yeah, so done with that. All right. So hello everybody. I hope you're having a nice Wednesday. It's Firefly says hello Fluffle fam. When I was Firefly. So, what are we going to be doing today? I'm doing a custom painting for Brando, actually for Brando's lady. I'm not sure if they're married, so his lady. I think they are. And um, it's, their, it's their two cats. So, I'll kind of go over how I got to this point um, and, and what I do. And, you know, before I do any, any painting, doesn't matter whether it's on canvas this is like a really nice watercolor paper that I'm excited to work on. Uh, but it's the same process every time. It's even the same process for when I do a tattoo. So, um, Brando sent me the reference image. I cropped it how I wanted to crop it, and I made it 16 by 20. That's the size of this paper. That's the final size of the piece. So I went ahead and um, did that digitally in Clip Studio. And, you know, you can use Photo, use Procreate on the iPad, whatever you're using. Um, that's the first step is to get your reference, um, the, the, the final size of your piece. So 16 by 20 this time. And then I made my line work. So how I did that was I took the reference image, I lowered the opacity down, had a white background behind it, and then I put a layer on top and I drew over the reference making a stencil and that's what this is uh, this is showing so this is my stencil yep, you can see it. the outline of the two cats and they're on this really cool blue looking chair so that's that was the next step and then once I was done with all of that then I cropped it in Photoshop into four eight by tens. So you can see like they're all taped together and that's to make the final 16 by 20. And I did that because now I have the exact size I needed and it's easy to print eight by tens. This is just regular copy paper. So I taped them together and then I put graphite on the back. So just a layer of graphite. And then I taped it down here. That's all that lovely blue tape. And I transferred it. I literally just traced it over. So you end up drawing it a few times before you even get to the, the final phase, which is the painting. So that's how we're here. And I, it's hard to see, but there is a pencil drawing here. And it's awesome because it's exactly, you know, when, it, when you're doing a portrait or something, you want it to be as... Um, true to the original as possible. So that's why I like to do it this way where I'm not redrawing it. Um, I just layered right on top. When I did the Joker for Dead Poker, which Frank might be able to bring in here at some point, we can show it on the camera. That I actually freehand drew on that canvas. It took me five hours um, to do that. And I was just, I just felt like doing it because it wasn't a portrait. It wasn't, you know, something that I needed to be so 100% correct on. So I just had fun with the drawing. But this is a huge time saver doing it this way. And uh, Brando said, uh, that's Tochi and Nimoy. Oh. They're litter mates and full of personality. Oh my gosh, it's just the sweetest picture ever because their feet are all touching each other and they're all, they're for hugging. Like Nimoy for like Leonard Nimoy, for like Spock. I'm just curious, I know. Because that'd be really cool. 
All right, so um, I'm going to be using watercolor and some watercolor pencils. Um, I really like watercolor pencils. These are basically color pencils that interact with water. So you can draw right on the paper, and then you can take a brush and water and um, paint over them. It's, it's a really cool effect. gives you a little more control with the pencil versus a brush. So I like it for all the darks, the little details of the eyes and stuff like that. Oh, sorry about that, Kaz. Uh, it was actually um, Brando's better half that wrote that, Krista. Oh, awesome. And they're both tuning in. Yeah. I love that. Our dog's name Han Solo because I'm a Star Wars fan. But I do like Star Trek too. And I won't get into which one's better, but obviously my dog's name Han Solo. All right. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to do the background first. That way I can focus on the cats. And um, just going to get it. Oh, on. There he is. Star of the show, and we get a nice echo because it's coming through both. Of them. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, That's only three over here. It only gets worse when you try to stop it. I don't think, I don't think they like me painting the cats. They are losing their minds right now. Never fails. You'll be they'll be quiet all day and then as soon as we hit record. They start losing it. I've got um, a few more customs lined up too that I'll be doing, so I'm excited about that. We've got uh, one for disco, and he went with an Egyptian theme. So we're going to do his dogs as statues, like standing outside of the Egyptian temple. It's going to be really cool. Using some AI reference on that one. And then I've got another cat. Another cat to do. I love doing animals. And I picked watercolor for this because it's going to play really well with all the fur. I typically do watercolor for cats. This goes, I think, because it's the Egyptian theme, I think we're going to go with um, acrylic film. He was hearing himself yell at himself. Yeah. I realized how to turn off the speakers. <laughs> He's like, who's there? Who's there? Like, oh, uh, really? You thought that was a good idea? Oh, wow. All right, Frank will be back in 10 minutes when uh, round two <laughs> stops. <laughs> I'm just going to do like a layer of black for the shadows underneath and then I'll do the color on top.
We'll try this again. I'm stuck with those words. No. Trigger words. If anybody wants to join us here, feel free. Just ping Frank in Discord. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, everybody's in Discord watching, too. Want to say hello? Got Collins here, Doug, Kranz, Miss Firefly. I think this is oh, awesome. Aaron. It's not going to look like much for a little bit, and then it'll all come together. I like doing the background too because it one, it's kind of like the, the busy work you want to get out of the way, but two, it's going to help define where the cats are sitting, how they're sitting. It's going to give me that shape. And then I can just focus on the cats. How long does something like this normally take you to be? Um, we'll see. I mean, I've never done two cats like this before, so I have nothing to go by. Um, I did want to color this one cat for a client. I ended up tattooing it. And when I tattoo watercolor, I like, I like to actually paint it first. So I have like a cool, an actual painting to, to go by with my reference um, for the tattoo. And that took Maybe about five six hours but it was it was it was a bit more it was different it was like a different style she wanted a specific style of watercolor it was very in depth and and super small tiny detail so i don't think this is going to take as long like this one it's going to be a little bit more loose dina and, said she loves the way you paint krista oh thank you yeah, I'm thinking a few hours probably for this one. But I, I want to kind of challenge myself and see because I want to stay loose with it. Usually I get really too bogged down in like details and stuff. I'm going to see. We'll see. And the live, you know. Puts a little pressure on it too. This firefly says, once it's more filled in, how do you keep from smearing the paint? Yeah, so watercolor dries pretty quick. Everything I've done is already dry. Um, like this part I just did is a little bit wet. You can see it like in the, I, I can see it better than you guys can, but, um, so that's all. I just work in layers, thin layers. I try not to let the water like pull up because then it's going to take longer to dry. But if you think about how quickly water dries, like on a surface, you know, it doesn't take long. So I, I just have to be, I just, just be careful and not, not smear it. You know, I, I, I use my pinky as like my stabilizer. So I'm not like leaning my hand on the on the paper. So all those things combined, I guess. That's like trial and error. That's like stuff you learn after doing it, after messing stuff up. <laughs> Also, Brando, I don't have a cat right now. I had cats most of my life. But I do have a stray mama cat that I have been feeding. And her two friends who come for food too. So I, I kinda have three cats and three babies, but they're not they're not mine. But I named the mama cat Lily. And you have a, ra a raccoon too, don't forget. 
I have a really, really big raccoon. An the opossum. fattest raccoon I have ever seen. An opossum. Yes. You're feeding them all. Hey, whatever wants to come get that food I put out there. Finally. Raccoon scared the heck out of me the other night. <laughs> what are you doing? You're on the phone out there? Yeah, because, you know, I pace when I'm on the phone. So I do laps around the pool and just walking through the yard. And there I was. He just came bursting out of nowhere. You probably scared him because he didn't expect you to be there. Yeah. He is the fattest raccoon I have ever seen. Well, now you could at least start to see, as you fill in the background, you're starting to see the shapes of things as yeah. well. Oh, so same. That's why I like to get the background out of the way first, because... Black's done. I was to the blue. That's pretty much that. Oh, uh, Brando said. Brando said, "Thank you for doing this for us, Krista." He said, "Krista, did you just call Krista Christina Brando?" I'm hoping that was a typo. How long you know us now? That oh, happens take that all off the screen. Time. Happens all the time. I'm surprised when people get my name right. Yeah, I'm going to just say it was Brando's um, autocorrect on his phone. <laughs> I got called Christian today. I was like, how did they know what name I was born with? <laughs> he said autocorrect. All right, all right. I believe you, Brando. I believe you, buddy. Also, I use super cheap watercolor if anybody was wondering. I know. No particular reason. I've just I've tried expensive watercolor and it all works the same to me. So I've had this set for these sets for a long time. Doug is being a funny man. It's Christina and Frankie all the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanna come up and hang out with us, Doug? Yeah, he's not busy. Come on, Doug. He never too busy to come hang out with us. So you got, you want to tell everybody how Brando um, got the opportunity to get this um, custom painting from you? Go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? You, it's your tee it up. It's your painting. He won. Come on, you talk. This is your show, Krista. I'm no, just, just, it's it's hard to talk and paint, so. I'm just a producer behind the scenes for you, putting up the comments and stuff. You could take that one over. I can, I can. So most of you who are here are part of the Fluff Fam. And uh, no, we recently released the uh, collection of light dragons um, in the Battle Bunnies world. And every week for eight weeks, we had birthday parties, depending on whose dragon egg hatched. And... Uh, those eggs that hatched and uh, turned into babies or matures or elders um, wound up getting uh, spun on a wheel to win a great birthday gift. And one of those birthday presents was a custom painting from Krista. And uh, Brenda was one of the ones lucky enough to win that. Was that did I spin it up? The unhatchable too. What? Yeah, yeah, he's got the only unhatchable um, juniper. Oh, okay. Yep, he's got one of those too. The only one. The only one. Well, we're thankful to have you in the community, Brando. You know that, buddy. You've been there with us since the beginning. Long time. I met Brando in Richmond. He did. Is he coming this year? I don't know. Are you coming this year, buddy? I'll be there. Oh, Miss Firefly's funny. She, she said, as the youths would say, their ship name would be Cranky. 
<laughs> I guess that's Christina and Frankie. <laughs> first and crank. Yep, first and crank. But uh, yep, Brando said he he ain't gonna miss it. He'll be there. Oh, awesome! I'll get to meet Brando now. Uh, my mom is here, Krista. She watching. Oh, hi, Mama. Come on, Doug. We're gonna we're gonna drag you up here to hang out with us, Doug. You ain't gotta be on camera, buddy. I'm gonna be busy today. I'm working on his van. Oh yeah, that's possible. Oh damn, you missed your flight, Brando. Are you when are you coming? Are you coming back? Or are you catching another flight to come down? Mr. Flight. All right, but Doug is gonna come hang out with us. Yay. Come on, Doug, my pup pup buddy. I'll DM it to you, buddy. I was saying that earlier. I gotta get on pup pup tonight. I'm going through withdrawals now. It's been like four days. I want to know if Doug watercolors. <laughs> Brandon said he was running through the airport, home alone style. <laughs> no, <laughs> he'll be back down in August. Oh, awesome! Yeah, if you want, you know, <laughs> give it to you in person. We don't have to ship it. Disco likes turtles. DJ Disco oh. Four said he likes turtles. Nervous shipping, um, you know, originals. Oh yeah, Brenda, we could do that. If you're down here in August, you could just we could uh just give it to you in person. If you yeah, want to that's what I'm saying. And we don't have to, of course, but there's Doug. I just brought Doug up stage. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? We're doing good. Doing some paintings. Yeah, do you paint watercolor Doug? No. Did a little bit of acrylic, failed pretty hard at oil once or twice. And then I got into using uh, enamel a bit. I've never, I've never used enamel. Yeah, it's like uh, pinstripe paint. So like yeah. what they used to paint old signs with. Yeah, yeah, I like that, like one shot. Yeah, yeah, one shot's what I use. Okay. So there's there's no blending, but I like it because you can paint on anything, old cans, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I uh, like it. Brando going to come in August. We, we'll give it to him in person. Oh, perfect. Almost like it was meant to be, right? Yeah. yeah I guess that's true. If you would have made your flight, then we would have seen you this um, while you were now here now. You wouldn't have the painting ready, so it worked out perfectly, buddy. Oh, Disco Fart, DJ Disco Fart, he said, I like Doug. <laughs> I know it was a flat out lie. He loves me. That's what that's what the, the lie is. <laughs> it's not just like. It's more than like. He like likes you. Yeah. All right. That girl is done. I'm starting to get him now. Some water. So then what's the next step, Chris? Right. Need more paper towels, one thing. 
Now we start at Kinney's. I think I'm going to do... So with watercolor, I like to, you know, normally everything else is dark to light. But if you do that with watercolor, your darks will end up muddying up all your lights. So you've got to work light to dark. So we've got all of this like subtle. This kitty, I don't know which one this is, mostly white. So we're going to do all of the shadows on all of the white fur. And then this guy's got like a white foot. White paw, white belly. So. Which, which one is which, Brenda? Which one's Tochi and which one's uh, Yeah, and which one's. Does littermates mean they're siblings? siblings? Yeah, I'm guessing so. Because they definitely look very similar. I mean, they've got the same colors. It's like an ochre color for the shadows. Nimoy is the wider one, he said, Krista. Nimoy, you said, like, um, like Leonard Nimoy, like Spock. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, he said they're definitely siblings and definitely trouble. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet that they're kept together, though. How old are they? Six. Oh. Perfect age. So now I, I know, I know, but uh, for, that you use um, like the watercolor paint, you use watercolor pencils and stuff. What do you use? Why? Oh, what do you use one for, and what do you use the other one for? Yeah, the, the pencil I'm gonna get out toward the end when I need to like define some details and stuff. So I'm going to use the pencil. So I'll be using the brush for, for the majority of everything and all different brushes, obviously. The pencil is going to help me kind of draw on some of those details that I need super sharp. i got some funky colors here, so my brain is like color theory, figuring out what colors like peach, peaches and ochres and that's always fun for me trying to color match too. Uh, Brenda said they were found under uh, their friend's porch after the mom tragically got hit by a car. Oh, that's so sad. Well, we almost had that exact same thing happen a few weeks ago. Yep, with the little baby kittens under our deck. Yeah, and that's how I have a mama cat now that I feed. She ended up moving the babies, but um, I was so worried because one of them, one of the kittens was crying for like eight hours straight, and so I thought that the mom was gone. And I was ready to rescue these kittens. And then the mama was not gone. She was just hunting and the baby was hungry. So now I've got a um, mama cat named Lily. I just fed her before I jumped on here, actually. Don't know where the babies are, but she seems to be a good mama, so I'm not worried about her. And I thought about him last night with these freaking fireworks. So I was like, oh, I'm probably freaking out out there. It was like the world was ending. 
Uh, and I was just saying, oh, I just was checking tickets and Cottonmouth uh, just picked up uh, the novel on uh, Audible. And so for those oh, of you awesome. that don't know, we just, um, our first Battle Buddies novel, which was on Amazon, the soft cover, the hard cover should be on there soon too. And it was on Spotify, the audio version, but now it's officially on Audible as well. So you go on to Amazon Audible and you can either um, buy it there or if you have credits, you can just get it and listen to it. It's about three hours and 16 minutes, the whole uh, audio novel. Yeah, for free with your credits. And like, I didn't even know that existed. I had never used Audible before, but I had an Amazon. And when I went to look, I, I got like three books for free. So you might, just because you have an Amazon account, you probably have credits for Audible. So check that out. And if you can, um, leave us a review on there, because obviously that will help. Yeah, we truly appreciate that. Guys. See it. And such an amazing story. And we are currently working on book two and three. So it's a little piece of alpha behind the scenes for you. Book one definitely leaves you, on a, leaves you on a cliffhanger for sure. Are we finally going to find out where Doug went? Maybe. Maybe we <laughs> will find out what happened to Doug. Did he go overboard? Did he wind up passed out in the uh, Lucky Rabbit's foot? We don't know. Did he get eaten by a feral fish? What were the other things? <laughs> and we wondered if it happened to Doug or not. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. I can't see these details. Kim. I'm also still waiting to find out if Pirate Mothy ever got his pants back. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some water. I'll let you guys hold it down. Okay. I'm going to be, um, I'm going to have a new setup next time for this so you guys can see a lot more detail. You know, it's hard to see what I'm doing. One thing I like to do, and I don't know if this will make sense to anyone, but I like to blur my eyes when I look at the reference so that I'm just seeing like blocks and shapes and versus like little tiny details. You ever do that, Doug? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It's just so much easier to see like Or even sometimes I'll just scoot way far back from it so I can get some distance on it. Yeah, I do the same thing when I'm tattooing and I'm looking at my reference. I'll blur my eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm putting Is it Because on... Aaron's watching, right? Yeah, but you can't really see it from the angle, so you're going to have to yeah. hold it. I can move the camera. Here's the Joker. I oh, I painted for Aaron. There you go. You guys can see how big it is. Three by twenty uh -huh. by thirty, I think. Yeah, it is. Three by thirty. Yeah. There she is, Aaron. Awesome. Thanks, Frank. You're welcome. I don't know if that's where the camera was. And this one you said you freehanded, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not going to transfer. I'll just draw her on. And four hours later, I was like, why did I, why did I do this? Just got it in my mind, and that was it. Uh, you might want to. Uh, no, your camera's fine like that. Um, 
Those will say it's at a different angle now. But and who's the lucky owner of the NFT of that painting? That's right. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about Aaron when I shoved that it's firefly. That's right. Oh, and she says she minted that Joker, and she's gonna get a metal canvas print of that. I am yeah. not the Alpha King, Miss Firefly. Let me the, the metal print of that. Really cool. I think Collins here. Collins has Kitty Cats and Tim. Everybody. A lot of people in here have cats. Yeah, Aaron's got Jerry, which is we yeah. all know pretty well. Doug's got cows, and he's yep. got Bill. He's got Dan right. Dan 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 right, I got my lovely Bill. I do actually have. I think we have a cat somewhere on the farm that I've seen now twice. I was wondering if you had a, a stray out there. Yeah, we used to have a whole bunch of strays around, but I haven't seen them in a while. And the last week or two, I've seen this cat twice now. So he's out somewhere. I don't know if it's someone's cat that lives by and just kind of wanders, if it's completely stray. Yeah. Hello, BBS. BBS just popped in. He said hello. 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 I know this is a shit angle, y'all. No, it actually is good. We could see everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the camera angle is really good. You just changed our rating from like PG to PG-13. Good job, Krista. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> A family friendly show. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know how hard it's been for me? Oh, uh, what does uh what does Disco say instead of that? Um oh, what is this? Disco did say I like pencils. Schnickerdoodle, I'll, I'll say that. Schnickerdoodle. Schnickerdoodle. Alright, see I'm getting bogged down with the heat. This is what that this is what happens. I like I stop paying I just zone out and start noodling. Gotta stay on track here. What does the fox say? Ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, Aaron? <laughs> oh my God, that song used to be when um, Discord would allow you to play the songs. Remember when you could actually play the YouTube yeah. songs and somebody put that on the playlist? The song would come on all the time. Oh on. great, man. Yeah, and then it, grew, it grew on me. I know. I really like that song. <laughs> they should they should get that on beat star oh yeah so you want to talk tell everybody about your beat star skills <laughs> professional professional beat star i know aaron's cursing the day he told us about that damn game I feel like nobody's playing it anymore. We all still playing a little bit. It's just that yeah. nobody's beating your scores, so you have no clue anybody else is playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glock was beating me. Oh, that's true. We had some healthy competition going on. Uh, we can see the kitty cats on the screen now. Oh, yeah, the reference? Okay. Yeah. I kind of forgot to go light to dark, and I was starting to do mid tones. So I'm like, let's go back to the light now. Oh, 
wish I had my mom's painting here that I did of Sailor, but obviously she has it. Oh, yeah. I did a painting of my mom's cat. His name's Sailor, so I... And if you guys have probably seen those websites out there that take your animal and, like, you can turn them into a painting from any era you want, you know, so you can do, like, an old-school circus performer or, you know, president of the United States or, or musician, like, and they put these ridiculous outfits on them and stuff. I did that with my mom's cat, and I turned him into this, like, 1800s captain of a ship. So funny. You did that one in oil, didn't you? That was acrylic. I have not done oil in years now, but I, I want to get back into that. Yeah. Oh, and that joker we just showed everybody, that was also acrylic. Those that were ones that were acrylic, there. yeah. I had a lot of fun with, it, with that one, and I'm not a huge fan of acrylic. Um, I always preferred oil over acrylic, but I had a lot of fun with that one, and I figured out a lot of stuff with that one. So that's why I want to do the discos, you know, being the Egyptian and all that. I think that'll be really fun to do in acrylic. Yep, and Miss Firefly um, got her sixth diamond and beat star this morning. Congratulations, Miss Firefly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And I remember when she was when first started playing, oh, I'm not very good at it. I remember. And, and now now she's got six diamonds. Yeah, it took me so long to get my first diamond, Miss Firefly. Oh, they're tough. I, I, I noticed her moving up the ranks there. Yeah, uh-huh. All of a sudden, I, I'm getting brags, and I'm thinking it's you or something. And I see Miss Firefly. I'm like, oh, oh, it's like that, Miss Firefly. Okay, okay. Doug, you get you, you get into the, any of that at all? In the Beat Stars? Yeah. I did for a minute until I realized how bad I was at it compared to you guys, <laughs> and I haven't played in a while. It just, just takes some practice, buddy. Oh, I practiced, but it wasn't good. Oh, oh, oh some, somebody's beeping. I'm laying down. It was me. I was trying to get to the <laughs> alarm and turn it off while muting and talking. <laughs> Tell you what, both the dogs perked up. <laughs> no, I had, uh, I had one record for a little while on that light switch song but it's because no one else had it except for you, but you hadn't played it really. And it took me four days of playing it quite a bit to get four stars. And then the second you opened it up, you just crushed my score. Are you talking about me or Frank? Frank. Okay. Uh, and you don't even have it yet. So once you get that song, it's all down here. Yeah, you're done. A bunch of us who have that song. At the time I had it, it was just like me and you that had it. Okay. Yeah, I like that song. The song's fun to play. There's so many songs on here I've never heard before or anything like that, but then they kind of grow on you because you got to keep playing them over and over again. Oh yeah, I did. I got gold on that song. Yeah, you uh, you crushed me. You didn't I worked though. so hard at it. Um, yeah, because the think there's it. only three of us that have it. Oh no, no. Now, um, if your friend like Miss Firefly has it, Dave's got it. Clock's okay. got it. Yep, Nikki's got it. All right, I haven't checked back in a while, so get on it, Doug. Get to practicing. No, Bubba. What's up, Han? Looks like he's, he misses you. I know. I need to see him. Yeah, we're going to figure that out. We're going to set that up soon. Come down and finish up your leg. I can't wait to see him and Bill meet, though. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. They're going to be best friends. I know.
And then, honey, I'll put him back. Like, that, uh, like he, he's going to want all your attention. He's not going to like that. Like, he's not going to understand that Bill's your baby. Hmm. That's, I imagine them playing like crazy and then Honey just perched up on a couch growling and barking at them both. Uh-huh. Yep. She'll put them both in check. She's small, but fierce. Kind of like the Battle Bunnies, right? Hmm. Small but mighty. <laughs> Starting to come together, Krista. Yeah, I got I'm gonna speed it up here. A little bit. sitting in the dark so the dogs stay quiet and sleeping and now it's putting me to sleep <laughs> oh oh i think we can add some music let me i'm gonna put some music on in here right let's let's uh let me see let me see what i can do let's see if i work right i'm doing a bad job at producing this uh stuff um would you like some how's that acoustic cinematic it's a little magical let me see What's daydreaming? Can you hear the music, Krista? Yeah, I like that. Do you, there's a feeding the ducks? That's better than the other one. How about this one? It's called Feeding the Ducks. <laughs> we also got some lo fi, we got night driving, we got rock. Not all about the music. Wow, I'm just. All right, I could get down with this. It's a little funky. It's probably gonna make me work faster too. Just sitting here in silence. Getting the groove. Yeah, I know. I realized everything was silent. We just kept talking. Right, but um, now we got some music. You know, uh, Doug, if the baby cow's a boy or girl? No, I haven't li lifted uh, her skirt yet. To check. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He hears himself, bro. He's out loud, man. Come lay him mama. Can I love cats a
kind of digging this feeding the ducks here. Me too, I'm jamming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's very groovy. Frank, where are you going to draw um, this Friday night? That's a good question. That is a very good question. Mm. Can't see the rest of the eggs from the dark dragons. Maybe I'll start messing around with them. Uh oh, maybe I'll finish up that dark baby that everybody has seen already, and I gotta finish it up, so maybe I will finish up that. The one that we made the dinner? Yeah, yeah, I never finished that one. Oh, I'm not even done. No, no, no. Um, well, maybe I'll start doing one of the new um, painted backgrounds that'll be in the collection. Gotta figure that out. <laughs> I see him walking across the floor. I just see him. Oh, yeah. He's exploring. Okay. Lime on YouTube, buddy. Oh, she left. She said, screw that. Is Tom with you? And yeah, he's sleeping in his chair. Little beans, little toe beans. You little toe Um, another thing I typically do with watercolor is I'll I'll use like almost straight paint, so less water when I'm starting an area. I use that for my darks, and then later when I go and I'm using more water, I can you can use the paint on the paper. You can activate it with the water. I don't know if that makes sense. It's almost like you're putting down paint to use later. It gives you more control to like when you want to do things, you know, you can blend like that. Do you worry about the paper curling or do you just go with the flow? No, like, I, yeah, so I've done that before where I have a, I have a line over here. I don't know where I put it. I had a line that I painted. I was going to show you, but, um, so, so it's already curly, you can see, just by water. This is a good, sturdy paper, so all I'll do after is, once it's completely dry, I'll just flatten it, you know, put something heavy on it. Yeah, okay. I, I don't, I don't know what else you could do, you know, I could have taped it down, but, I, you know, I want it to go to the end, so I don't know what... 
you could do to prevent that. I mean, this is a really good, like, high-quality paper. It's not super thick, but it's pretty thick. But, you know, I'm also not pouring water on here. Like, I haven't... Because you can, like, damage the paper. Um, so, I'm trying not to do that. But yeah, I don't know how else you can... How you can not do that. I'm just curious, for those that are in Discord watching, um, can you guys hear the, the the sound and stuff from my stream? Surely they would have said something, right, by now. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe they can't hear. So BBS said he can't hear it in Discord, but he can hear it through here, so, okay. I don't know what, maybe because I, um, no, I'm muted. Huh. I don't know what I did on there. I'll have to figure that out for the next time. I started out in Discord and I could hear it. It just wasn't the best sound quality. So that's I switched over to on YouTube. Okay. We'll troubleshoot that for next time. Maybe that's blind. Almost done with all of the light. I'm gonna do chest and the face and on all the fun stripes. Okay, Miss Firefly said when she clicks on the screen to actually watch the stream, then the sound is coming through for her. Okay, okay. That might be it too, BBS. If you're, since you're watching it on here, it doesn't matter, but I think if you actually click to watch the stream, then maybe the sound will come through. But the quality is probably definitely better here anyway than uh, watching it in the stream. And there's a volume on the stream itself, so you can um, adjust that right there at the bottom right. When you're watching. Uh, BBS is fancy uh, pirate PFP. What? BBS got his fancy pirate PFP. That's great, isn't it, BBS? Shaping out the cat now. Yeah, I'm doing the white. Um, I'm finishing the white part. So, the boy's uh, chest. What I'm working on right now, like the neck. The chest. It's all white, and then 
I'll work on Nimoy's face, like the bottom half of the face is the light color too. So I gotta just do all the light, you know, and then we can move on to all the rest. Light to dark. And then by the time you get to like the black, you just have to be careful. We paint over like with watercolor, there's not too much you can do about it. Let us forgive it. Brian said um, that this is amazing for Brando and the family. He said forever their watercolor will have the creation by Krista available digitally on video. He said imagine watching Da Vinci paint the Mona Lisa. Technology is so cool. <laughs> I am, I am not Da Vinci, but I appreciate it. Well, Miss Firefly said she 100% agrees with Brian. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, um, he died. So sweet. Yeah, if I, if I want a custom and I can watch it, you know, that would be cool. We always try to do stuff that we we would like. Yeah. So you well, definitely have more. You, guys. <laughs> you have more to paint, so you'll be doing all those live as well. I know. I just I don't think I can do this goes only because it's gonna take multiple. Like that's gonna be a lot. I mean, we'll see, but. You know what? That might be a good. Part to do. seven. <laughs> You know? That might be good to do the final part of it. Right, yeah, exactly. I, I really wanted to do the Joker live, but obviously that was like a secret one. You know? And I really, like, I wanted to live stream that so bad. But it was a secret. I'll tell you right now, for everybody that's watching, there will be more opportunities in the very near future to get a custom painting from Krista. I love these. I, I wouldn't mind doing like one, you know, every couple weeks. Just take a day every couple weeks and paint. So maybe we'll just sneak or hide some in the upcoming Dark Dragon mint post to keep you more busy. Yeah. What you think? Did I just drop some alpha or I didn't? Oh, oh, we, got, we, got little, we got a little something extra coming that, that, that uh, Destiny is going to have something to do with. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave it up to fate to decide, huh? That's it. Also, if you have like, you guys might not be able to see it, but I'm, I'm painting kind of over stuff I've already done, but I'm going so lightly that it's not affecting it. Finesse it. Get away with some stuff. Water, water. Gotta be careful. Like the Starfly asked earlier, you know how to smear? Like if you just kind of lightly brush, you're not gonna. It's not gonna be enough to. Where's the thing? Alright, now we can see. See all the arms. The Firefly said she's going to try so hard for that. She needs a custom crystal painting to go with a custom crystal tattoo. Wow, Miss Firefly, you had to make me try to say that three times for custom crystal tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> custom crystal painting, go custom crystal tattoo. Uh, 
No, BBS agreed with Brian as well. So, so you're outvoted, Krista. All right. All right. Not mess with BBS, Black Belt. That's right. Don't mess with BBS. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that oh, and I went to the face and then I'm going to take like a two minute break. I always have to like reset my eyes before I start like a new. I, I, I just realized Don got me to be asked too, like I know the Blackbird Spider and then I know, you know, you're like martial artists and everything. I'm like, oh my God, that just sounds like this epic style of martial arts, right? Like Blackbird Spider style. Like, am I am I onto something here, buddy? It sounds pretty wicked. Oh, maybe your bunny, one of your bunny studies blackbird, or maybe it's similar. Oh, that like blackbird spider style of martial arts. That's giving me ideas, buddy. Also, um, I was going to mention about the reference. So I did not change anything with this photo, nothing. Uh, it was really great already. Like it had contrast, it had good lighting, all that stuff. And that's something that um, I like to not mess with the references unless I'm just fixing like contrast or, you know, get rid of a coffee cup or something that's in the way or something like that. But as far as the animals go and stuff, like, I don't like messing with that. Uh, mainly because I'm trying to capture the animal, and when you start changing things, it starts messing with the authenticity of it. So I don't, typically, like, I, I don't, so, um, reference is really, like, the most important part of this whole thing. Brenda's got to head out for a minute, Krista. He said how you're so talented, and thank you so much again. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Next time you see it, it'll be Dunda. Yeah, the reference is what makes the, the piece, so... You know, I'm going to do my thing with it, but if the reference is... It's been good, and there's only so much I can do with it. Um, but there are apps that can take a photo and make them better. Like, Doug, I don't know if you ever heard of this app. Um, now, of course, it's coming to my mind. You can use it to uh, make photos better. Crystal buff and stuff, and it's really good for tattoos. No, but I, I need to know what that is. I don't know how often I just get sent a just horrible reference that I just wish was a Remini. little bit cleaner. R E M I N I. R E M N I. R E M I N I. Okay. Really good. And, um, it doesn't always work. Oh, like Leah, the actress, right? Leah Remini, right? I mean, I think hers has an H in it. I think. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, similar. I don't know what Remini means, but um, 
I've, I've used that out before on, on tattoos. I used it for the watercolor I did uh, with the Simpsons' daughter. And it did wonders with it. Yeah, I'll definitely look into that because that'll be super useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying on the reference thing. You know. Oh, yeah. And then, God forbid, you ask for a cleaner, like, better photo, they just send you a different angle, blurry photo. <laughs> Is this how? No. Oh, it does that. So I'm gonna pull out the nose and the eyes later. Get that face like the there. Mm -hmm. What's the other cat's name? Why what? Frank, you are not coming through if you talk. Oh, I was coming through. I think it's Tochi. Or Tochi. Like T O C H I. Oh, it's so cute. And they're both boys, boy and girl. Did we get that information? No, I don't think we did. I'm gonna go with Nemo as a boy, but I could be wrong. Okay, well, Tochi has like this white on her his nose and and cheek and everything. So I'm gonna get that later and then. I'm just gonna stand up, stretch from that, and then we'll finish this up. Because all the rest is gonna go pretty quick. It's like just getting all this laid out. And now that I have the rest, like the stripes are gonna be quick. Faces are gonna be a little bit of time. Oh, Frank, you got to add the Samurai General to your gallery in Discord. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do it. You know what? I'll do that now as we speak. Oh, you're welcome, BBS. I just saw your message in Discord. That card looks awesome. All right, let me add the Samurai General to my gallery. He doesn't have a name yet, so for those that missed it on the night on um, Saturday night when I did the YouTube, what? There's not a name already. The Samurai General doesn't have a name. So I said it's Aaron's job, isn't it? It's it's the community's job. Oh. part of the novel, so it's, um, we're going to leave it up for everyone to actually name the character in the novel. 
Well, Aaron's included in that. Of course he is. But you know, you don't want to just throw the whole job on Aaron. Because otherwise he would just name him Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> name is General Aaron. <laughs> Just kidding, Aaron. Just kidding. All right, I put him in there. I am gonna do the paint on the toe. Intermission. So, yep. For those watching now, oh, there's no. Melly said Aaron gets no say. What's up, Melly? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's like General Aaron. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> he also says, yeah, you tell him, Krista. <laughs> oh, 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 Nikki, oh, you want to know who has the general? Aaron has the general, Nikki. Stephen won it, and then um, Aaron acquired it um, within the first, uh, I, would, I would say, maybe five minutes. Did it make it five minutes? I don't even know how long. Yeah, it was in his wallet for a good Four and a half minutes solid. Four and a half to maybe five minutes, Stephen. Yeah, no. Of it, and Aaron has acquired it. Well, we do have a suggestions channel, so if you guys want to start um, throwing some ideas. Think about the culture. Uh, think the most for that Frank in there. I don't know where. Oh, samurai in the questions and ideas channel. Oh, I could. I'm not going to do that now while I'm doing this. But we could do that. We'll set that up. Anybody can, and uh, that way we can start putting. We can have it all in one spot. Right, and just think about you know this character and who he is and um, what's coming. You know the culture behind the samurai squirrels that are invading. Can you show uh, it on the screen? Because I want people to see it. I can't. Well, you'd have to do that because you're sharing your screen. Uh, well, maybe, not, maybe, maybe, no, you're right. Maybe I could share screen. No. Um, you're in my screen? Yeah, I don't want to. Let me see. And we were on camera the other night, and, and uh, Mike shared his. Yeah, yeah, but I know I have so many windows open on my screen now. So I'm sharing to the Discord. I got um, the Discord open. I got my um, stuff on my Clip Studio Paint that people cannot figure it out. Have. Figure it out. Krista, 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 all right. I'm just playing. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Lost in the around and shit. Well, you made me say shenanigans. All right. Snickerdoodle. Sh yeah. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Right. Um, let me see. I can show a window. Okay, here I can show this window. Is it sharing? No, it's not sharing. I don't know where it's sharing to. Oh no, it's sharing in StreamYard. Yep, there it is. Okay, it's up on screen now. There it is. And where is the Samurai General that is now officially sitting in Aaron's wallet? It is the one of one and the last. Soaking in the Series 1, the Battle Money Series 1 collection. And um, if you read the book, you'll find out a little bit about them. That's so cool. It opens me too. Yeah, it does. I know it's hard to see all the detail on the YouTube screen. I'll zoom in a little bit. But see, like when you zoom in, you can really see how much detail went into it, even into the little gem on his medallion there. So, one of your best pieces. 
Well, thank you, Crystal. All right, I'm gonna start sharing now. All right, let me see. I'm gonna make you bigger. Again. Right. So I'm done with all the light. minute I break and then we'll finish oh up. damn disco disco said Krista is not subpar like some others <laughs> keep it up disco I'll tell you I'll tell you what you go find in your wallet tomorrow buddy I don't think he was talking about you was he oh yeah <laughs> I know exactly what this girl was talking about. Uh, Nikki said Krista is pure chi. Is what? Pure chi. Like, you know, like, um, chi, like, uh, what's the different? Like, uh, you know, um, Energy, peaceful, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what it is. Thank you. I'm hot. I need to turn the air down. I don't know what's going on here. But it's hot in this house. I'll be right back. Okay, take a... What are you doing in there? <laughs> Let's take a two minute break. And then we'll get... Everybody on. <laughs> hi. Can you say hi, YouTube. Can you say hi, YouTube. 
Let me see my little boy. Han is, is just like his dad. He's a wild man. Can you see him? Yeah, we named him Han Solo because he's a scruffy looking nerfer. The scoundrel. Um, oh, congratulations, Kaz. Ash passed her their driver's seat van, and Brand just got rid of Brando. And what are you talking about? Disco said my cockroach is blocking Crystal's painting. I don't know what he's talking about, but he's always insulting me. Is there a lat ear score? It's not up anymore, right? No, what? No, no. Oh, that's what he was talking about when I had my screen up. I, uh, I, I got it. Let's go. <laughs> I will be paying you back, my friend. All right, so working dark to light. This goes ornery today. I know when he's in this mood. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start over here and so that I can move. I don't have to worry about my hand. Oh, Tubby McLovin's here, Krista. Tubby McLovin, all right. Oh, Aaron said he is so cute. He is cute, Aaron. Wait till you meet him in Richmond. He's, he's just a little fluff ball. All right, so we're going to start with this light caramel color. There's honey, baby. Oh, you can see honey down in the corner in her little head. That's what she's done. She's like, I don't want to be on camera. I'm out of here. He's looking for a chair. And it's in the hallway, and she's wondering why. Why is my chair not where it always is? She wanted her bag, Krista. I will give her bag. Yep, and now Han's like, what are you doing? What's going on down here? And he left me. Oh, he's back in here now. What's up, Tubby? You can come join us too if you want. Let's go, you're welcome to join if you're off work now. Yeah, if you get, if I, I don't see any of you want to come and join and hang out and talk with us, me, Chris, and Doug, just uh, let me know. Ping me in the Discord, and I'll, uh, well, that sounds terrible on the video, but um, send me a message in Discord, and I will uh, give you the link. Come on, come on, come on here and, and say all that stuff to me, Disco. Here, come on, we'll have it out while Chris is painting. We'll, we'll, do, we'll have some entertainment. Yeah, if he's going to say it, he can at least say it to your face. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we're Viking brethren. They're talking all about how he loves Doug, Pirate Doug, and all of that. So I see it. I feel like we have a traitor in our midst. Oh, yeah, he's secretly a pirate. He just hasn't admitted it to himself yet. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly, well, I, I've seen proof. I believe there's proof out there. Oh, there's proof. Yeah, okay. I thought so. I thought I'd, I'd witnessed that before. We're having a great day, Blinky. Thank you, buddy. I'm doing like an under... I'm going to paint on top of this, so... I'm doing like an under... painting. Um, to get these browns in here. And then all the black will be, all the stripes will be on top. It should be perfect. I don't have to worry about being super neat. I mean, you've never done a watercolor, have you? Absolutely not. You yeah, absolutely not. I haven't done one. I've never done one. Maybe when I was a kid, you know, you get the little Crayola watercolor set. Yeah. Like, I've never actually yes. 
Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just like that. I don't use this one as much. I use the other set, but. Oh, uh, no. Disco, oh, now, now Disco, because he's in a mood, so he'd say, he, but he loves me. Okay, Disco. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I feel the love, buddy. I feel the love. Come, come on, come hang out with us. We'll, we'll put you in a better mood. Come be saucy here. It's okay. Yeah, come be saucy with us. Let it out. Let's go. Again with the fireworks? It was 4th of July was yesterday. Oh, they got some left over, huh? Hope everybody had a great um, holiday. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had a great time. Saw the new Indiana Jones. Yeah. We played poker. I liked it. Yeah. I did. I enjoyed it too. I can't wait to see it. it was, I think you like it. I mean, it, you know, there's a lot of CGI, but. Yeah, I expected that. Yeah. Um, and I know Clopping was saying he didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah. Because it was just a lot of the same. But that's what I want. I want the same Indiana Jones. That's what, that's the thing. Like we, that's what we liked about it is that, it, you know, there's little things that that remind you of the other movies, little things. And I, I like that about it. It felt very Indiana Jones. Yeah, I don't want them to recreate the franchise. Like I'm going to right. see Indiana Jones and the good old classic scene stuff. Yeah. yeah, and it really was in that sense. So like, and that's what you'll get. It's like, remember how we talked about the new Dungeons and Dragons movie and all of that? And it's just a great, fun adventure. And this really was, it was very nostalgic for growing up with Indiana Jones. And it was just a really fun adventure to see him, I guess, on in his last, like, you know, um, his last day as Indiana Jones, you know? So it was it was fun for that, and so I, I enjoyed it for that. And it wasn't like um, groundbreaking or anything like that. In a sense, but it was a lot of fun to watch and see, and, and it made you smile a lot, brought back a lot of memories. Yeah, and that's exactly what I want. I I, I wasn't thinking it was going to be some Emmy Award winning something or another. Like, I just want the good old classic, good adventure. Definitely was. But also, I'm not that big of a critic, you know, on stuff like that, you know? I, I, I tend to just, things I grew up with and stuff, I, I kind of tend to just enjoy for what they are. Hey, Mia! What do you mean, <laughs> that? Morning in Australia. Oh, what else to be on soon, huh? Yeah, I'm guessing, um, what's it, maybe about 7.30 a.m. here, Mia? I would not be awake for this. I was up at 6 a.m. this morning. Way too early. Honestly, not on purpose, this happened. Yep, yep, 7.30 a.m. for Mia. Thank you for having your coffee with us. They get to hang out in the future all the time. Coming together, Krista. It's only been an hour and a half, too. Got a lot done. 
Yeah, and you know, it's one of those things where it looks like nothing, and then... When you put all the details and stuff. And then it all... So the same thing when I'm drawing live, right? And I start blocking in color and everything just looks like blocks of solid color and all that. Yeah, stuff. kind of boring for a while and then... Well. That's why we get to listen to this groovy music and we keep you company. Yeah. All right, I'm done with feeding the duck. Let's move on to, let's, let's, let's step it up. Let's see what the rock is. What'd you think of that, Krista? Well, me. There we go, pick this up a little bit. It almost feel like uh, it's a video game. It's almost like, it sounds like old like Tony Hawk or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a very cruising USA to me. Yes, yeah, cruising yeah. USA, that's right. I love that game, man. Oh, yeah. I used to go to the movies just to play that. Uh huh. Always just stopping your foot twice to do wheelies. Yep, that's right. And you could flip over things, right? When you'd hit the ramps and you'd like do that yep. flip in there. You had to find that, the shortcuts. That one and then the boat one. Hydro Thunder. I remember that, but I didn't play that like cruising. I love those. Yes, Brian, we did give some 90s game reference. That's right. From Cruising USA. It used to be like, Cruising! That was like when you'd sit down in the thing. It was great. Or do you remember that one? Uh... Crazy Taxi? Of course. Yes. That was a great one. Oh, wow, Don. Yeah, I have not heard that. that you could so get there and play that on your phone. You could play that on your phone or like iPad. Oh, can you? Yes, we have it. I just, I don't know if it would be the same without the steering wheel and the pedals and then pedals are also covered in soda, so they're all sticky. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not the same, but it is fun and nostalgic to play a little bit. For sure. Then you reminded me of Paperboard. I used to love that one. With the bike handles. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then there was that one, Skate or Die. If you're on the skateboard and then like all the bees are chasing you and yes. stuff. Yes! I haven't heard any of these games in all So like you said, you're doing all your mid-tones now and your lights, right? Because once you start playing... Doing all the, doing all the brown and the, those tan colors that's underneath their stripes. So now when I paint the stripes on... I got a dark subject. Now when I do the stripes on top, you have all the depth underneath. Oh. What? 
Look, look who joined us! <laughs> there <he is. laughs> Disco! Disco! Hola! Hello! Hey, buddy! How you feeling today? Okay, long day at work, so I needed to bust somebody's chops and prank one. Oh, I didn't <laughs> sign up for that, Disco. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it happens. How you feeling, man? Okay. All right. Enjoying Crystal's painting. Yeah, aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? Where'd you go? He just left us. Did you go for milk and cigarettes again? Oh, nope, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your day, buddy. Tell us about your day. Uh, I pick up trailer. I move trailer. I set trailer down. Eight hours of that. Sounds like a very eventful day. For those of you that don't know, this is our official number one hype bunny of the Battle Bunnies, DJ Disco Fur. I'm glad you joined us, man. Absolutely. And, and uh, Disco is a sworn pirate hater. No, he's a pirate lover. <laughs> no love for the pirates. I have pictures that prove otherwise. <laughs> Bye. You chased him off, Doug. Nah, he ain't going nowhere. He went for milk and cigarettes. <laughs> you going grocery shopping again? No, I'm running from, I've seen Doug's proof. I don't like Doug's proof. His Ready pirate pictures. Where'd he post it? Where'd he post it? I didn't yet. Oh, it didn't come yet. They're out there. I'll make people hunt for them. <laughs> they do exist. Pirate scavenger hunt. Well, I hope we'll make you feel better, Disco. Oh, no worries. Who pissed you off today? Tell us. Uh, 80 degree weather. 80 degree? Dude. That's like, I wish it was there. We got like 90 something degree weather. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm with Disco. As soon as it hits 80, I'm cooking. Yes, sir. No, I'd be grateful for some 80 degree weather right about now. I'll be on TV, Chloe. Oh, we don't want to Let's see the babies. Oh, look at the baby, Crystal. Look at the baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pretty baby, that's the only thing yes. Oh, they're so beautiful. They are. Yeah. And I believe um, Disco is also the winner of one of Krista's custom paintings. And I believe those are the models for the next painting, Disco. They are. <laughs> That was gonna be really cool. Talk to Egyptian statues. I know Miss Firefly said 80 degrees is a dream. That's right, Miss Firefly. I agree with you. <laughs> oh, 84 today, huh? Kaz, like, who are you guys? Kaz, Brando. Um, because I know Disco, you're up in Washington. We're down in South Florida. Yeah, I know you guys are used to that hot and humidity. No, no, we you, get... don't, you don't get used to that. Oh, they're in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You don't get used to hot and humidity. Atlanta's like perfect weather. Is it? San Diego is perfect weather. Oh, it's been the 90s. Oh, no, San Diego, it's yeah. it doesn't get too, too cold. No, but you're right, Disco. We were in San Diego, and that weather was perfect. Remember that, Krista? Yeah. That was some perfect weather. It was really nice. Running on noses. So you're a fan of Atlanta, Kev?
<laughs> you taking us for a walk? What are you taking us, Disco? Yeah, we're going for a walk. All right. Let's going go back ahead. to the air conditioning. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Look at the baby. They're so beautiful, man. I know we've only seen photos. It's Disco! Oh my god! Yeah, wait, have you, did you not realize this whole time? This I can't see behind and There he is. Oh, my fun, fun, funny. <laughs> he has that bunny's hat on. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. Dude, you, you, you better come up to Richmond. That's all I'm saying. Oh, he's coming. You know he is. Right, there's there's his book and his stickers. He's got all mm -hmm. the stuff. I love it. Oh no 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 no, Bubba! Nobody said anything. It's okay. Fancy sparkling That's some epicness right there. Very rare, sir. Very rare. Not many of those out there. Uh, I'm looking forward to my Dark Dragon sealed cards. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking forward to everybody seeing the Dark Dragons once they all, uh, they all come to life. Well, we got the Light Dragon collector cards coming. So, you, well, you guys, I think a lot of you have seen the frames for and everything, so we'll start putting all those together soon. And uh, getting those out to you. And then um, Dark Dragons. It's going to be exciting, sir. Is this where you hang out and play putt putt? Um, well, nowadays, because I'm no longer stuck in my recreational vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So it's only two. Yeah, it's only like two. It's not even three o'clock for you yet. And you know what I realized when I was up this morning and I see you say good morning in the day and I'm like, oh, it's like uh, eight o'clock or not even eight o'clock in the morning and Disco saying good morning. And I'm like, and then it dawned on me today. Oh my God, look at your cat. Look at Disco's cat, Krista. Oh. Oh, wow. That's Toki. Oh, is that a boy or a girl? Toki is a girl. Her pattern is so beautiful. You know, I realize... the thyroid, Disco? what what? all of the thyroid problems? Yep, she's got a hyperthyroid. Thank you. But she's got her meds. It is what it is. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't realize that you're up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, dude. That's when I start my day. Oh, that's crazy. That is, yep. that is. Up at a quarter of four, and I'm at work at five. That is ungodly hour. Well, it works I love with it our schedule, though, right? What? It works with our schedule because that's he's true. He's able to pop pop with us, and then he gets off when he's going to go to the van. true. It's actually a perfect schedule, right? Because by the time you're getting to lunch and all that stuff, we're up. Yeah. In the morning, we get to hang out. Yeah, he's done by the time we start our events. Yep. Then he's home and, yeah, ready and to go. So glad you joined us, buddy. Oh, what's going on tonight? What's the plan for tonight? What? What's tonight's plan? Oh, I don't know. This is the event for the day, so I'm... I have not gotten past this yet. Oh, okay. You, you're going to putt putt with us finally again? No. Probably no. not. <laughs> <laughs> no, just instant no. We got to find out when the evil air is, or, is coming out. I know. It's supposed to be like this week, eh? This week? I was looking it's it up awesome. this morning. As, as of now, they're just still saying July, not a date. Uh. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll, no, I, I, you know what? Maybe I will play one of these days so I can try that damn board I bought and never played. A lot of fun, 
It, it's been way too long since I waved my putter in your face. <laughs> that is very true. Maybe yeah. that's why I stopped playing this guy. You ever think about that? <laughs> very poor putter etiquette. <laughs> Fair enough. Bad ball and putter etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Now you gotta join you guys. I'll think about it. I'll consider it. If, if we could be so lucky. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Or maybe I'll grace you guys with my presence. So what are you doing now, Kristen? You starting to do darker mids or are you gonna go with the dark spoon? Just working on the place, there's so much to do here that it's gonna be easier for me to just kind of focus for a minute and get a lot of this laid out. Okay, so I'm just kind of going back and forth. Um, <laughs> doing these like mid to dark browns. The pattern is so intense. Hey, dog, what's up, dog? Yeah, we saw Doug. <laughs> is there a way to turn your camera? Yes. Oh. Turn your phone around. I don't know, actually. Oh. Let's, let's see if I can. I'm trying to show you. Show us. Bill? No, I'm, I'll show Bill in a second. Where's the camera looking? The camera's looking kind of at you in the trees. Oh, uh, it'll take a second to catch up. There's the cows. See the little baby? Oh my God. Make it bigger, Frank. Make it bigger? Okay, hold on. There it is. Here's your baby cow. The baby and the mama and then daddy's back over there. They have water. Right. It looks like they have shoes on. They got shoes on? They look like uh, are they muddy? Oh yeah, they're muddy. That this is their like they like to just take swims when it's hot. So they're they're oh, up on the front right now. Oh, it's so awesome! Yeah, so they get... Oh my god, that baby is so sweet. <laughs> like all that, uh, walking. That's awesome. Yeah, they eat... What? Each cow gets, a just over an acre to... No, more than that shit, what is it? They get like five acres each. Wow. It's just because we've we've cut down. They're happy cows. Yes, they are. Yeah, we've been uh just we we got to thirteen for a while there. It was just too much, so we found a few different farms that we've kind of just been breeding for, selling them, so they can start their own little herds. How many cows you got now? Four right now. Okay. We just sold uh, two to a farm up in Michigan, and then last year a different farm bought like three or four of them from us. Oh, uh, that's cool, okay. You said tutu. <laughs> yeah, tutu. Cows and tutus. Oh, well, that's the lady we just sold the two to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's got Instagram pictures of like flower crowns on her cows and stuff like that. Oh my god, uh, that makes me very happy. Yeah, and I think our big dad went to, he used to be our breeder, went to a, a petting zoo, I think, because he was so friendly. Oh my god. Like, that's where the last 
bunch have been gone. Just to different like little tiny family farms and petting zoos and stuff like that. Oh, yes. oh. oh I'm gonna get rained on. Oh, Kaz is asking if you named them, Doug. Uh, the little one, not yet. Um, the mom is named Kiss, because her mom was Hershey. Okay. Um, the dad I named Willow, because he's actually short. He's small for his uh, breed. Like, he, something happened, he got stunted growth, and he's kind of like a little little guy. So therefore, I named him Willow. And then, I forget what the little black one's name is. But yeah, the newest baby has not gotten a name yet. All right, you thinking of anything? Uh, I have nothing, nothing yet. Should we, if we could make the community vote for it. I like that. I like that. It's Bill. Hey, Bill. What's up, buddy? Oh my God. Hey, little baby. Oh, I can't wait for him and Han to meet. What's he doing? Oh, he's just doing his afternoon nap. Oh, I thought he looked sleepy. Yeah, he's had his morning nap, his late morning nap, his early afternoon nap. <laughs> now we're into just the afternoon nap. I don't even realize this is streaming on Twitter too, Krista. Oh, I know I did. I love mm. Twitter. I just liked and repeated it. For anybody that uh, can find it on Twitter, it's under the Battle Bunnies account. If you could like and retweet it for us, that would be awesome. Yeah, Twitter keeps changing its its deal, so all of our bots that we pay for, the Twitter bot we pay for, is not able to pull the tweets anymore, so we're trying to figure it out. Disco left us. Oh, he just didn't even say goodbye. He just abandoned us. Who? Disco. Oh, he just well. Bye bye. Bye, Disco. He probably didn't have an opening and talking about the cows. Aaron would be on here if he wasn't so busy today. Yeah, come on, you wanna come hang out with us, Aaron, while you do whatever the hell you're doing? While he runs his business? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Their little face is all too much to get. Oh, here is Never pet a cow. How sad is that? You never pet a cow? No. If you ever get out this way, I can change that. I know. And I yeah, see those videos on like Instagram where they're like, they're basically like big dogs. And they love to be pet and all that. I'm like, oh my God. Oh yeah, that's, Willow and me are good buddies. He'll just come up to me and I can scratch his head. Um, our old bull, it was crazy because he was so friendly that like I put my arm around him, scratch behind his ears, but he was 
he was 2,200 pounds. Damn. He stood at probably, like, his head was probably six, seven feet up. Like, he was a big boy. This goes back. Yay, sorry about that. It's okay, welcome back, buddy, welcome back. We just thought you didn't say goodbye, you just left us again, you know? We're kind of getting used to that. Well, I had to run to the store real quick. I figured. Milking cigarettes. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Say that probably twenty The patterns are yeah. They're like smoke. Oh my god. Kaz said. Yeah. Disco, when you get the flu, does that mean you have disco fever? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, who said that? Was it Jade? No, no, that's uh Brando's uh uh better half. Oh, okay. Thought that was pretty funny. That's a great dad joke right there. That, that is a good one. <laughs> Disco always has Disco fever. <laughs> I feel like that's when he enters a room or enters something like that needs to be like a theme song. <laughs> Kaz said, I am not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't be sorry. That was great. I love it being me laugh. Well, we love the banter. Don't you worry about it. We pick on the ones we love. That's what we do around here. That's true. That is very true. Why are you always picking on me and Doug? How's well, your paintings hot, bro? I know that's true. He did say that. That was mean. That was really mean, this guy. Well, if you don't know what you're looking at and you just take a quick glance with the mustache, he kind of looks like a cockroach. That's why you didn't win it. You know that, right? <laughs> and th yeah, that's also why the only unhatched egg was a pirate egg of mine yeah. you brought that all on yourself and that's why you got a bunch of them uh, owl dragons too who exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's coming together krista i like how frank said he's looking forward to, to the to us seeing the, the dark dragons and he hasn't drawn any of them yet. I got one. I got one and I got the rest We're of them. We're all looking head. forward to the dark dragons, right? You included. Yeah, I am too. I got the ideas in my head. No, you haven't done any of them yet. Got one so far. We're starting with the environments first. Um, 
And that's cool too, because I'm going to get a lot of suggestions from all of you guys too, and we'll see what I can surprise you all with. I'm going to let that dry. I'll work on the tails. Get that a little bit. Um, Make sure you come to the drink and draws if you got ideas, because I'm not surprised yet. The dragon might appear in the collection. Well, and from what I've seen backstage, Frank has solved the mystery. Which came first, the dragon or the egg? The egg did. The egg did, yes, exactly. All right, I think we're going to change the music up. Turn the music up. All right, I got yeah, you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. All right, all right. What would you like? Let's see. Um, how about some lo-fi? Okay. Yeah, well, if these cats were beige, I'd be done. Yeah. <laughs> so some lo-fi good, Krista? Or what's yeah. that? I just needed a southern death. Why most of them? Let's bring it back down now. Anybody know that one? What? What is low finding? Good question. Well, oh, that's when you can't afford hi fi. That's what I was gonna, it's like not high fi it's just low fi oh. I literally thought I was the only one in the world that didn't know what that meant. No, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna Google it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Googling right now. Low fidelity. Low yep. fidelity, okay, all right. Yeah, it says the production or reproduction of audio characterized by an unpolished or rough sound quality. Rough sound quality? Yeah. What's the definition of it? Now that you put in the docks, and now you can start to really start to come together. Working on the tail there. Yeah, the stripes. What are we having for dinner, Krista? That's the question. Uh, whenever you look. Oh, okay. <laughs> you like that answer? Yeah, yeah, apparently. I'm working here. All right, so you making dinner Friday night while I'm working. Okay. During the drinking job. <laughs> That's fine. Figure it out. I'll see what we're gonna have for dinner. Doug, isn't a cat on a farm like a like a mandatory thing? Uh, a lot. It's a very common thing to deal with uh, rodents and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, they have four cats, Krista. 
Aww. So um, one, they have one pitch black one. Oh, they have four striped cats in the house, and one, also they got five cats. So cats, why'd you pick these two? Are these two your favorite out of all the cats? Oh, Brando picked them. Okay. Let's go pick the photo. Yeah, this is a oh. surprise for her. Oh, well, surprise, surprise. He wanted to surprise her. That's awesome. Every, I think almost every custom I've done has been some kind of surprise. So far. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, because remember Freaky One? They came in to Dave, and Dave didn't know until I was live. Thing. That's true. And Firefly won one of the Sunday games and gave it to Dave. That was for you. Mm hmm. I guess that's what I was thinking. Yep. That's true, that's true. Everybody's just so, and that's the, the amazing, right? Everybody's really just so giving me everything. Everybody's just sweet. I'm obsessed with black cats, by the way. I heard she's heard of black cat. Yep. Love black cats. Well, uh, okay. So these two cats and the black one were Kaz's, and the other two were Brando's before they moved oh, in okay. together. Yes, these are babies. That's so nice, though. And then they all get along. It's a brainy bunch of cats. I know it can be hard to introduce cats to each other. I can't either, Miss Firefly, but I know it's going to be cool. But I'm guessing it's going to be uh, we're going to be something cool with Commander Frost. Hey, Frank, you see who's hanging out on my RV? No. Oh, ah, that's awesome. It's Nora from Hot Flight. No. I didn't even realize you had the camera back on. That's perfect. Yep. It's right where they belong, sir. Right where they belong. Yep, Go hanging out camera. on my other house. <laughs> Love it. Where's uh, Sonia and uh, Mylon? The other one's hiding. Well, I didn't want to waste all my stickers on my RV. Okay. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll send you another pack, Disco. I'll send your thing. Well, if you're going to send me another pack, then I will sticker the hell out of this thing then. <laughs> That's, it. That's it right there. Well, you know, I had that thought or that plan. I was going to drive the RV to Richmond 
and then rep the battle bunnies all across America. Yeah. Dude, one day we're gonna make that happen. Well, I just need to take a month off where I can still pay my bills. <laughs> That's why I said one day we're gonna make that happen. Absolutely. Battle bunnies across America. I love it. All right, that was like hands across America. I remember that. Yeah, I might even stop in Canada. Oh, okay. So it'll just be like battle bunnies across North America. Well, only the top half. Battle yeah. bunnies are kind of scared of south of the border. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was at that hands across America. I did that and it was in, uh, I remember years ago when I was a kid. And we went to that event. I don't know if anybody remembers that or did it. Yeah, that was a big deal. Yeah. I was young. I went with my dad. What it just you? makes me think of that movie, Us. I never saw it. Yeah, yeah. That Jordan Peele one. Yep. I never saw that movie. No, Frank can't watch that. That's too much for Frank. That's I liked it. Frank, I liked um, it. Yeah, you don't like the scary stuff. Oh, I saw that Black Mirror episode, Doug, we were talking about. Told me uh, the paparazzi one. Oh yeah, what'd you think? Yeah, that was, it was kind of funny, you know, it was kind of comical, but it was good. I was like, oh, this is where we're going with this. <laughs> yeah, it takes a twist. <laughs> yeah. We started watching The Witcher last night. Oh, that yep. new one? Yeah, and then yeah. I, I started falling asleep. How is it with the uh, character? With what? Didn't they switch the main character? No, no, no. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Henry Cavill's still uh, The Witcher. Yeah, this season oh, is Henry Cavill, and then next season will oh, be. Oh, okay. Then I'll. Oh, we lost Disco again. Yeah, I thought this was the one that switched to Hemsworth. No. I'm not so keen on that. Maybe if it would have been Thor, not the brother, I would have been like, okay, all right, I could see that. Is this the guy that was in Hunger Games? I believe so, yes. Um... Okay. Yes. That would be it's awesome the... as Firefly. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, yeah, Hunger Games, the one that, like, she wanted to be boyfriend, girlfriend with, or whatever. Yeah. Her town. Firefly said if she can get a van, um, Doug could help her convert it and she could travel to all the conventions and Comic Con selling the BB's merch and spreading the word. Oh, no. That would be absolutely epic. Well, what Let's go. About Hunger Games, Doug. What's that? They're actually bringing back Hunger Games. Oh, really? Yeah, we saw the poster for it when we went to see Indiana Jones. A continuation, or...? I don't know, it said something, uh, what did it say? You know, Ms. Barclay, I believe we heard some snakes. Oh, I did see the trailer. It's, uh, um... Yeah, what it's going to be is the rise of it. I 
lost Doug. Yeah, I think we lost Doug. Am I not here? I still hear you. There you are, there you are. There you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, to my understanding, the new Hunger Games is going to be how it got started. Like the first Hunger Games. Oh, okay. So it'll be like a prequel. That's right. I do remember seeing a trailer now. Tell you what, Miss Firefly, next year I think we're going to be doing a lot more um, shows with the Battlegrounds, Comic Cons, all of that stuff. So we might just have to take you with us to them. Spread in the word. And people could get Miss Fire, and, and then you could just autograph people's books when they come to the shows. Doug said he'd be happy to help you, Miss Firefly. He's a pro. But yeah, I'll get all my mess ups out on mine by the time I'm ready to help her. <laughs> out well it just takes a really long time it's coming along Chris it's coming along yeah I don't know but I'm kind of running out of steam I don't know if I'm gonna finish this all getting tired well we can always when you you go finish it and then the stream like the last Bits of it too. You know? Yeah, because I'm like, I got a lot of I got a lot of stripes to go. <laughs> yep. It's super fun though. You know, the stripes and stuff. Yeah, I always love doing textures and stuff on uh I'll tell you what though, you're two and a half, not even two and a half hours in and you got a lot done. Yeah, I mean, I hate to stop when I'm hitting here. Also from the end. That's why everybody wonders why when they keep saying I'm done for the night in the drinking draws and I just keep going for another two hours. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that for a while. It's just gonna be... I don't know if y'all enjoy watching or if it's gonna get monotonous with watching tonight. So. They're hanging out. Eventually I'll get hungry. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. I like y'all hanging out with me though. Uh huh. That's why. Right. That's what I was saying. That's why drinking drugs are fun. Everybody comes, hang out, keeps your company. Yeah. Oh, Miss Firefly. Your work persona. Okay, yeah, yeah, you could just do that all the time. I haven't she to work? No, she's saying I'll be enough when she puts on her work persona. persona. She's pretty good at the customer service thing. But still uh, the thing makes great attacks if the crowd is big enough. Well you know what? We're gonna we're gonna you're gonna jump in with both feet soon enough. But don't worry, your whole fluffle is gonna be there with you. I already told her me, her, Doug, and Disco can be into social at Richmond together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> but the, the reality is, I'll tell you what, you know, like it sounds like that, but then at the same time, when you're around everybody, you realize it's say all the same people that you're with every day, right? And all of that, then it's not really being antisocial because you just realize, oh, well, shit, it's just all of us. No, I know, I'm just funny. Yeah. I wonder if Abysmal's coming. 
I don't know. He's gonna try. Yeah, ask him next time he pops in. Yeah. The hotel is sold out, or you can still get rooms there. I think you can through the, the actual te the convention link. Okay. I'm just sitting here thinking what the hell we eating for dinner. What's Doug having? What you having for dinner, Doug? Um, I don't know for sure, but I do know I still got some mac and cheese up there. Mac and cheese. Oh, we could do some mac and cheese, Krista. Mac and cheese with broccoli. Oh, yummy. That sound good, huh? I could do that. I can pull that off. Can you can you handle cooking that? Yeah, yeah. I got I got to make it fresh though. We don't have like the, the box mac and cheese, but I'll make it. Oh, okay, okay. That's I'm a weirdo, and I actually prefer like box mac and cheese. Yeah, we don't mind it. We get it sometimes. Like once in a while, like Krista gets that. Which one is that that you get? Uh, it, the Annie's, like the organic one, is really good. Yeah. I can't do like craft or like like I can't. Put yeah. See, for me, that. give me some like SpongeBob shaped craft. I'm all. <laughs> I don't like that. That like. I don't know plasticky. I'm, I'm very weird with cheese. I don't like fake cheese, like nachos and like out, the, like the movie theater and stuff. I won't do that. I, I'm very picky about cheese. But honestly, Doug, making it out of the box is just is this, it's almost it's the same as just as easy as making it. Now that you know, instead of using the cheese that comes with it or whatever, you, once you boil the pasta. Then you can just put your milk, butter, and any whatever flavored cheeses you want in there, cover it, and let it steam and simmer in the milk. And then you got a nice. Oh, yeah. So, it's that's the same thing. That's, I don't know what it is when it comes to mac and cheese. I love that cheap powdered cheese. Okay, hey, that's fair enough. I mean, I have yeah. watched you eat a Korean hot dog that was squished with fries, <laughs> hot Cheetos, mustard, ketchup. You don't know what that thing was. And I and you still don't know how you feel about it. No, I, I, I would do it again, but I don't know if I enjoyed it. Not with the flaming hot Cheetos though, right? No. Well, it was, the flaming hot Cheetos was okay. It was the fact that they put mustard on it with the flaming hot Cheetos. It was mustard and yeah, that, that doesn't, I love mustard, but I don't want it when my, no, and if it was a normal corn dog, put some ketchup and mustard on that. If it was, you know, but with the Cheetos, I just didn't really love that mustard on there. I'll tell you too, I don't know if this is the same for everybody, but like a lot of stuff I grew up eating, I don't like it now. And I think it's because I, I ate so much of it, like mac and cheese is one uh, pasta salad. Like, if I ate it a lot as a kid, I can't get down with it now. Oh yeah, I'm almost opposite on some things, and I think that's why I like that cheap box mac and cheese. Yeah, because you grew up with it. Yeah, it's just that memory. Because I, I actually enjoy cooking. I, I have a fair amount of recipes that I can make and been told I'm a decent cook, but sometimes just some cheap, quick mac and cheese is the way to go for me.
We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It's really coming together, Krista. Yeah, there's no way I'm finishing. Well, that looks great. Why, well, like when I did the Joker, I would paint for a little while and then I wasn't filming anymore. I would take a break and then. Yeah. Like, that's how I usually like to paint. In the same way. And that's what you can't do with tattooing, right? <laughs> right. That's why, like, if I can, then. Yeah, I'm gonna call him here. Plus, like when, when I come back to this, I'll see, you know, I'll, I'll be able to see it better, like as a whole. I'm like, okay. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, we definitely got a lot. A little good base. the tail like raccoons. I can um I'll leave the table like this and then um I can live stream it in Discord. Oh yeah absolutely the rest of it yeah I'm just leaving my, I'm going to wash my brushes out, but I'll leave my setup here. And then, um, 
tomorrow, Friday. Like the next few days, as I'm working on it, I'll just live stream the Discord. Yeah. Well, Friday, we could just double drink and draw it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll work on it tomorrow. And then I'll leave enough for Friday. And I'll finish it up with, when you, with you, uh, Sounds like a plan. Okay, we never done that before. Yeah, no way, yeah, they can just bounce between streams. Yeah. Just don't cross the streams. Well, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Let's see if I can show it. There you go, look how it's coming along. That's so funny because you have all the light colors there, right? So you can see the base and you think, oh, they're light cats. But as yeah. you continue to layer all the darks in and stuff, you can see. Uh, yeah, they're like naked right now. Yeah. <laughs> they need their, their stripes. Looks amazing, though. Thanks, Dad. And so let me add, like, once you do all of that, do then you go back into the background to push it any further, or do you, is it like, um... I, I thought I will, and I, I was already looking at that. Yeah, and I've got to define these lines more, you know, I didn't do that yet. Right, right. But yeah, right. like, I, I was pushing this back yeah. while I was painting, I was adding layers. Yeah. Uh, because it looks dark when you paint it, and then when, it, when watercolor dries, it dries a little lighter, so... It's always good to keep going back. Yeah, and it's crazy because it doesn't even really look like watercolor when you hold it up like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good. Well, at least the parts like the more when you start to refine it, like you could see in the big, you know, yeah. like that, but um, like where the tail is and stuff like that coming together, you can see that it's like, you know? Yeah. Looks great, Krista. Thanks. Yeah, and it'll be easy to drop it into a frame because it's 16 by 20, so. Um, the only thing with watercolor is you don't want it to touch the glass. Over time, it'll stick. So just put a mat around it. Yeah, which I think you could get a 16 by 20 opening that'll have yeah. um, like a 20 by 24. Um, yeah, exactly. Put it in a 20 by 24 yeah. Frame, yeah. Awesome. I'm excited about it. All right. So it looks like we're gonna go make yeah. some dinner. Let's hang out with us. Oh, uh, Nikki asked if you take commissions. I, I, I did before Battle Bunnies, but now I, I don't, but we'll is talk. That, yeah, yeah. And Nikki, there's gonna be something to win coming in the Dark Dragons too. Oh, yes. did I, was I not supposed to say that? Did I just drop Alpha? Yes, there's going to be some available in the Light Dragons, and every now and then I do Spartan giveaways for them. The Dark Dragons. For the custom paintings. But yeah, we'll talk if you want one. We'll figure something out. But I've got, I've got like five on the books right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm busy for a while. <laughs> but Disco next, I got... G8 TRX. Um, clopping. Did Clopping win one? Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. All right, so I guess so let it man, for those that want to see more. She's so of lucky with her minting. I know she so is. She'll mint one with the Dark Dragon. Yep. So I guess, right? Yeah, Clopping is Clopping. He said, Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an Alpha King, shush, Miss Firefly. <laughs> um, so I guess, right, uh, you'll be doing it in the Discord. So those who want to finish watching it, come Yeah, I, I mean, I might even jump on tonight, you know, if I, if I feel like painting. So I'll just pop in whenever. I'll tag the live sessions well, and I'll jump in there and, and paint whenever I'm uh, back on it. All right. Sounds good. So in the meanwhile, we go eat some dinner. And then we'll see y'all in the Discord. All right, thank you guys. Yep, thank y'all. Thank we'll you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you. Oh, for sure. All right, so we're saying goodbye to everybody.
Should I say goodbye to everybody? Yes, you should, Krista. Tell yeah. everybody. Bye, y'all. See you in Discord. See y'all in the Discord. Thank you, guys.